I'm Earl S. Bell, architectural theorist, inventor, and designer. And what I'd like to present now is Charge Plaza. Charge Plaza is the utilization of lots, gas stations, underutilized gas stations, and converting them over into electric recharging stations. Once that happens, you can actually utilize the air rights above for all types of uh, usages, mixed use types of developments. Now, Charge Plaza has three major components. I'll get into two and I'll leave the last as a surprise. Now, going into further detail of the Charge Plaza, the Charge Plaza is actually comprised of three components. We have the tower, we have the base, and we have the area that's below grade. Now, dealing with the base first, this area is where your car can be charged at the base for a fast charge. Now, we have additional area above the actual area where you pull up from the street. This area can be long-term and short-term parking where charging can also take place. Below grade is where we can have storage for lithium batteries as well as future technologies. Now, there's different types of ways cars can be charged. You can have the battery replaced or you can have a fast charge or long charge. Now these may take anywhere between a minute to maybe four hours depending on the technology. This means you have roaming time, you can go around the building and visit the showroom. In the showroom you can actually see new types of renewable energies as well as new types of transportation design. On the other side of the base we actually have the bookless library. And at the bookless library is an area where you can wait for your car to be charged. You can visit restaurants as well as other type of franchises to add the base of the building. Now the base of the building also contains the entry to the hotel above as well as the residential above. Now right on top of the base we actually have green space. Now this particular green space can be utilized for people who want to play soccer as well as uh, and maybe invent a new sport as well as other traditional American sports can be played at the base or on top of the base of the green space. Now this area can also be utilized for restaurants as well as concerts and other activities. Now expounding further on the actual ring that you see throughout the entire video, this particular ring itself charges the car. Now the ring, the ring has a cord wrapped up inside of it and when you pull your car up to the charge ring, you pull out the actual handle and you insert it into the, uh, the, the manifold or the, the, the charge plug into your car and you can actually put in your, your information, your credit card or whatever it is that you have and have, have your car charged. Now for maintenance, the actual ring that you see with the glass ring that has the holes contained can actually be detached for maintenance or replacement. And I think that's quite interesting with this particular design. And I think this can be a beautiful icon for this new electric charging infrastructure that's taking place around the country, around the world in New York City. As we move up the side of the building, you can see the charged exoskeletal panels. These particular panels help in the production of electricity, as well as carry the load of the building. These particular panels have a core or hollow inside that allows for liquids to pass through, which can help in the production of electricity via a thermodynamic temperature differential. The apertures that you see on the panels can actually be frames for solar panels to be lodged in. We would actually have three means of electricity production. The apertures that allow for the solar panels, the thermodynamic effect, as well as the photovoltaic paint. Okay everyone, check this out. This is the treat that I was saving for last. This particular idea, you see this concept, I've actually been thinking about it for the past decade and now I'm finally bringing it forth. This particular concept is a fitness bicycle, but it can not only be a bicycle, it can be other types of fitness devices. Now, the way it is comprised here, you actually have is this back wheel is actually detachable. Now just imagine this, you have, you're on the bicycle and you're riding around the city and the process of you riding around the city, you're actually producing electricity. Now, the uniqueness about this particular design is that the actual back rim 
your back wheel has no axle, it has no spokes. Now, this allows for the ability to have a compartment for the storage of the motor as well as the long-term lithium batteries or high-charge lithium batteries. Now, quite interesting, a different type of uh, approach to utilizing bicycles. Can you riding around the city? So, you're riding around the city on the fitness bicycle that I designed, actually, that I invented the, the way the back rim is comprised. You're riding around and you're actually producing electricity. Now, if your if you're bicycle, if you got it and it didn't have any electricity in it or it didn't have any charge in it and you produced a, a good amount of charge by riding around the city or doing your exercise, you could actually convert these units or energy back into the charge plaza and actually get something in return. Maybe you could go over to the Bookless Library and have the ability to download uh, some interesting fitness material or have the ability to get a meal from the restaurants at the Charge Plaza or have the ability to ride one of the Charge Plaza's electric taxis back home. In this layering of different types of approaches as well as different types of inventions allows for a new type of energy, a new type of synergy, a new type of cultural energy, a new type of ability for humans to actually utilize or realize where there's certain activities that overlap and this actual overlapping can allow for a sort of evolution of our particular approach to utilizing energy as well as bringing forth new designs and new ways of living.